Hi everyone! Welcome back to Wild Caught Vintage, the second installment of our quarantine series. My name is Randy. I'm the owner of Rockabilly Raven Vintage on Etsy, and here on my channel we do all things vintage clothing, vintage hauls, and styling vintage into our everyday modern wardrobe. If you like that sort of thing, I hope that you'll stick around. Today, I have a haul video for you, and you might think, how could she have a haul video? Everybody's on quarantine, or stay at home, or shelter in place, whatever your state's calling it. Um, the way that I am able to bring you haul videos right now is 100% due to procrastination. <laughs> I run a vintage clothing store and I have a backup of vintage hauls that I had saved to film for all of you and I just didn't get around to it so now that I do have some extra time on my hands I'm able to catch up and get through those um, and bring brand new inventory to my store and bring interesting things for you guys to see. Um, at a time when I can't normally go out and get more vintage. So it is kind of a blessing in that regard, um, but I wish it was under better circumstances. Without further ado, I can't wait to show you this really interesting collection of vintage items that I got. Um, I have a box of clothes and a basket of some home decor things that I want to share with you. Um, also, at the end of the video, uh, I'd like to take a minute to tell you about my grandmother. Today is the anniversary of her passing, um, and she is the reason I am styled and dressed the way I am, because she is my inspiration. So if you have a moment at the end of the video, I can't wait to tell you a little bit about her. So to start off with, I have a romper, a romper. Check out this. 1980s Hilo Hatties romper. A romper is just shorts attached to the top. So here is your tag. This is a fantastic 1980s Hilo Hatties Hawaiian romper. Has these uh, great little like cap sleeves and elastic waist. So it'll fit lots of different sizes and of course best of all it has pockets I cannot wait to get this piece into the store I just oh these colors aren't they great I love those blues and yellows just awesome awesome so that was a great find can't wait to put that in the store the next piece is a maxi dress from the 60s and maybe it was a costume or I don't know but it is so gingham so prairie and so awesome check this out all right so as you can see it's got daisy trim it's a very empire waist the color is not doing this uh, justice. This is lime green gingham. Gingham is the green and white check fabric that you see. It's called gingham, in case you didn't know that. Has angel wing sleeves. Angel wing just means, you know, looks like an angel wing. And a great scoop neckline. So uh, this particular beauty has a matching like bonnet or a cap, like a bed cap. So it might have been sort of in the hippie movement, but I think it was probably a costume. It's probably a 1960s does the prairie in the 1800s costume, but it is still vintage as all get out. It's got a great, very, very, very long skirt, and I'm gonna put it in the store, probably minus the cap throw some great accessories on it, and someone's gonna really love it. I can't wait to put that in the store. I kinda wish it would fit me um, and not look like a bed sheet uh, so I could try it on and show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my super 
fantastic sparkly bracelet off because uh, I think it's making too much noise. Alright, so that's all I have for dresses or rompers. <laughs> um, I also found a really fantastic, very silky, I'll show you the back, half robe or, or sort of kimono style bathrobe. This really fantastic piece, it's from the 70s, I think, I think it's from the 70s. If it isn't from the 70s, the print is 100% in that vein. I don't recognize the tag, and the tag looks very new, so it might just be 70s style. But it has no belt loops. And I thought that this particular piece would look really fantastic over a white shirt and high-waisted jeans uh, for a summer just over piece, a layering piece. Um, it's got real short sleeves, and I just thought it was really beautiful with those rust colors. And I had to pick it up so I could put it in the store for someone. I thought they would really enjoy that. The next three pieces I have are all coats. Really different style coats, but they're all coats. First I have a, I guess it would be an Air Force bomber jacket. Um, so this is a vintage Air Force, I assume Air Force, mm, I don't want to speak incorrectly, military. It's a military issue jacket. So I uh, grabbed this great piece. Um, it's a little bit getting a little bit warm for uh, such a heavy duty jacket, but it's got great pockets inside. It's got that very awesome orange interior with that olive drab green exterior. And I wanted to show you, see if I can find it, on any piece that you ever pick up, if it is actually military issue, it is going to have a tag. Oh, and this one has a tag and it's super washed out. But I think maybe you guys will be able to see it. You will find a tag. It'll be in a pocket. It'll be hidden. And it will have the actual date on it of when it was issued. And this was issued in 1979. And you can see that right there with the 79. Hope you guys can see that. So if you ever have a piece and you are wondering if it's from the Korean War era or maybe it's World War II or maybe it's a Vietnam era or you know any any of those time periods if it is actually military issue especially US military issue it's going to have that tag and you'll be able to date and authenticate any military issue piece. Civilian issued pieces are a little bit uh, less specific to date, but anytime you pick up a military piece, you can date it with the tag that you find. Um, if you don't find a tag, it might be a piece that was just made to look military issue. Um, I can't speak for modern military uh, issued pieces. Um, I only deal in vintage. Um, but I venture to guess that it probably has dates on it as well. So, next. Uh, I shouldn't have waited so long for this, but it is what it is. I found this amazing faux, faux fur jacket. It's going to hit me in the face. Look at it. Big old teddy bear jacket. So this fantastic piece, it does still have actual leather on it, so it's not 100% vegan. I'm looking at the tag real quick. Nope. Uh, it is so 70s. It's got these big old wide sleeves on it. It's very almost famous. Um, it is about knee length. Look at these big old pieces on there. Isn't it great? Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful lining. Um, it is just a super 1970s overcoat. It is a mad statement piece. It does have 
uh, belt loops for a, a leather tie belt that I did not find. It didn't come with it, but you could style this with any leather accessory that would match your outfit and it would look killer. Or you could just wear it without a belt. So someone's gonna really love this piece and see how fantastic it is. You have to send it to the cleaners to get cleaned, but I am really excited that I was able to pick that up for someone. The last clothing piece that I have is a fantastic 70s leather western jacket. Isn't it great? Look at this JCPenney's tag from the 70s. Oh, so cool. It is a men's jacket, but it's a 38 large. So it is awesome. It's got those big pockets on it. I wish this was actual uh, curly lamb or shearling, but it's not. It is faux. Um, but this is genuine leather here. It is in absolutely beautiful condition. It's got that great contrast stitching right there. And it's in wonderful shape. I think I got it for half off even too. So really awesome piece. I'm going to save that one for fall because I waited a little too long to put that one in the store. But that's okay because now, you know, I have a haul to show you guys. And I'm going to have some pieces for um, late summer, early fall. Okay, so next part of our haul is home decor pieces and I do have a all right there was I'm gonna scoot up there was these amazing embroideries oh ring light there we go they are bird embroideries look at the shape of this frame isn't it cool there was seven of them and I grabbed all seven of them isn't that great? So I collect vintage embroideries, but so do a lot of other people. So I did pick up some for me and some for you. Last little yellow bird. And um, the same person, whoever they got rid of their embroidery collection, had some cool little fruit. Somebody's gonna really like those. And this one's going to stay here. There was an embroidery of the mountains. Um, all of these were $1.99. Um, that one I think is really fantastic. I have a whole wall with uh, vintage mountain landscape paintings. So I was really excited to find an embroidery to add to that. Speaking of vintage landscape paintings there was oop, there's this one isn't it great like Bob Ross is really awesome and then there was this one really really beautiful and oh and these ones were $2.99 but that I think that was a beautiful price and I was wondering if these ones were dated I thought they were but they aren't um, Regardless, I thought they were fantastic and I was really excited to find them. Last little home decor piece was just a little basket that I thought was great. Um, I don't really do the basket wall thing, but I do like to put acrylic grapes into baskets and put them on my coffee table. So since we were talking about uh, paintings and since I picked those up, um, it's actually a really great segue for me to speak about my grandmother for a quick moment. Um, the reason that I have an entire wall collection of uh, vintage mountain landscape paintings is because my grandmother was a landscape painter. Uh, my grandmother, her name was Harriet, uh, she passed away 11 years ago today and she was a riot. She was a complete riot and she's a hundred percent where I get all of my vintage style. She is who sparked the joy of hunting for anything and everything uh, for a good price. Um, 
one of my first memories of loving the thrill of the hunt of vintage was I think I was probably 10 or 11 and we stopped at a barn sale she and I um, in the Central Valley in California and I found one of those really old turquoise southwestern very 70s rings and I knew it wasn't in style at all in the late 80s early 90s but I knew that thing was worth something and I showed it to my grandmother and she was like go ask the guy how much he wants so I go over and I'm like how much do you want for your ring you know and he's like oh 15 bucks and I was like what and my grandmother was like mm. I was like, I'll give you a couple dollars for it. And he let me buy it from him for $3. And I was hooked. I was hooked forever. So whoever inspires you, um, I hope that you have good memories of them. I hope that you take the opportunity to remember them. Um, my grandmother passed away on April 2nd, 2009. And I miss her. And I really appreciate that you let me chat about her for a second. Um, if you still have a grandma or a grandpa, I hope you'll give them a hug for me. So that's it, my friends. Uh, welcome to, I think I'm on week three of the quarantine stay in place. I might be on week four. I don't even remember anymore. Um, but we are well. I hope you're well. I hope that you enjoyed this haul that apparently I saved for three months for us. And uh, I hope you'll come back and see me again sometime soon. As always, I hope the video blesses you in some way, and if I am so lucky, you may choose to subscribe and like my video and come back again next time. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye!